Hey you guys, it's your girl April. So today's video is going to be a Dollar Tree DIY wall art project. I actually did this video some months ago and I finally got around to uploading it. About 99.5% of the items used to make this wall art is all from the Dollar Tree. And this is going to be something really simple and easy and you actually don't have to use the exact same picture frames or wallpaper or stickers as I use, but this to just give you a visual and an idea so if you're interested in diy projects especially from the dollar tree then stay tuned to this video for she's crafty with muffins All right guys, so first things first, this is a set of wall art. So I did make two, so for the video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to make one. So for a set, you'll need four eight by 10 frames, 10 five by seven picture frames, and then you'll also need eight three by two picture frames. If you only want to make one and you don't want to make an entire set, then all you needed to do is just portion this in half. Now the picture frames that I wanted, I did want a silver picture frame. However, there wasn't any in stock and I did want a particular look. So I decided to go to Hobby Lobby and get some of their silver chrome washi tape. I did want it to have like a kind of mirror shine on the front. So that's the reason why I did want a particular picture frame. With this washi tape, it was $1.99 and it actually fits perfectly into the Dollar Tree picture frames. It fits perfectly right into the crevices or the width of the picture frames. This picture frame set is for a set, a pair. So if you want to make just one, you only need to use half of the items and half of the picture frames that I'm listing. But I preferred a pair, so that's the reason why I made two. But just for this video, I'm only going to be showing you guys how to make one. I love this tape because it gives a really nice mirrored effect and Hobby Lobby has loads of different types of washi tape but if you're not able to find any you can always check on Amazon and then I'll go ahead and do the opposite one. The removable adhesive I did get this from Walmart and this is the marble contact paper and this is fairly cheap I paid five dollars and eighty three cents for it and you don't have to use this particular one. You can use anything you want just to place inside the picture frame. But make sure that you do remove the back stands to the picture frames because you won't need those. And just place aside the cardboard insert because you will need that to trace the size of your wallpaper or whatever paper you're going to be using. But you'll also need it to put the picture frame back together. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace two pieces for my picture frames. You can use any type of paper you want. You can use actual pictures of your family, wrapping paper, wallpaper, contact paper, whatever you want to put inside of the picture frame. Go ahead and take the backing of the picture frame and I'm just going to stick my contact paper onto it. You really don't have to do this. You can just leave it as is and just stick it into the frame. It'll definitely lay flat, but I think I was just being a little bit extra. 
I like the marble paper from Walmart. This is a particular brand. I think this is the duck brand. It does also come in black and like a brownish color. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the five by seven picture frame. But for these, I don't need to use any of the washi tape because I love, I do like the particular design of these picture frames. So they don't have to all be identical. They can be different. It just depends on how you want to do your design. For the five by sevens, I'm gonna be taking this bling glitter sheet that I did get from Amazon. You can also get these from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to be cutting them in the size of each of the picture frames. Now I do have a total of five five by sevens that I'm working with right now because I'm only gonna show you guys me making one. I'm going to use three glitter sheets and then I'm going to use two wrapping paper sheets, which I'll show you in a minute. And these are the glitter sheets. And this is the wrapping paper that I'm going to be using from the Dollar Tree. Now this I'm going to be using to go behind the glitter sheets. Because the glimmer sheets do kind of have like holes in them, I also want to cover up the cardboard that's on the picture frame. And it also makes the bling glitter wrap sheets sparkle even more. And I'll go ahead and place the glitter bling sheet onto the glass. And then I'll take the wrapping paper and then I'll just go ahead and take the cardboard backing of the picture frame and place it back into the sheet. And if you can see, there's like a little bit of rainbow colorful colors in it, that's from the wrapping paper. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the next two. Now I'm gonna be using this wrapping paper right here from Hobby Lobby. I thought this wrapping paper was perfect. I had this sitting around the house. I didn't wanna use all glitter sheets. So because I have two more five by sevens left, I'm going to use this particular wrapping paper for these two. And now for the smaller items, which are the three by two picture frames. So as you guys see, I'm gonna do the same thing with the wrapping paper. And for the last one, I'm just gonna use some regular silver chrome wrapping paper that I did also get from Hobby Lobby. But during Christmas time, you can definitely find some of the Dollar Tree. And I wanted to make this backing a little bit more secure. So I did use some of the tape from the Dollar Tree. That blue tape is amazing. It also comes in orange. Now to hold the picture frames together, I'm going to be using the styrofoam boards from the Dollar Tree. And this is the important part. You want to go ahead and place your design onto the styrofoam boards. And I went ahead and used a measuring tape to make sure that everything was properly measured and in the middle. As I went ahead and measured each picture frame and marked the middle so that way I can put the 3 by 2 picture frames in a particular spot. Now you can make your design any particular way, but this is the way that I felt I liked the design. I'm pretty sure you guys can think of so many different positions that you could put these picture frames in. Just be aware that you will need to cut around 
the picture frames from the styrofoam. And we'll get into that in a second. And just to make sure that everything is even and all placed, I went ahead and measured the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and take my pencil and I'm going to trace the entire picture frames onto the styrofoam board. Just make sure you have a steady hand and a sturdy hand and try not to move the picture frames around while tracing. And I decided to do it like this because I felt like the styrofoam board will give the picture frames or the wall art more leverage, more anchorage versus using a bunch of popsicle sticks. Now you see I have my design and I'm going to take my X-Acto knife or a razor and I'm going to cut everywhere that I trace. Now the one thing that I will mention, please make sure to cut a little bit behind the lines. As you see me right here, I'm not cutting directly on the lines. I'm cutting behind the lines that I've drawn. And that is because once you place the picture frames back onto the board, if you don't cut behind the lines like you see me doing here, you'll see the styrofoam. So you want to make sure that you cut a little bit behind the lines. So that way, the styrofoam board is exactly behind your wall art and not showing on the sides of your wall art. Then you just go ahead and place your items, your frames, back onto your styrofoam boards. And because I cut the styrofoam a little bit behind the lines that I traced, you don't see any of that styrofoam on the sides or peeking through my wall art. Now get your favorite glue, and I do suggest using a good glue like Gorilla Glue, or um, you can use, I would not suggest using a hot glue gun because a hot glue gun just doesn't last over time and with the Gorilla Glue it does hold up really well. I prefer this over any hot glue gun so no hot glue guns for this particular project guys. And you can also put some on the back of the frames and that'll definitely help hold it even in place and make sure you have something nice and sturdy to hold it down overnight 24 hours if possible. I'm just going to use some of the vegetable cans that I have in my cabinets. I will list some of the glues that I do prefer to use for particular projects. Gorilla Glue is just one of them. The E6000 is also a really great glue to use as well. And I do have another glue that I like to use that I will also list, but I cannot think of it for the life of me. And be extra careful when placing these cans on top of your picture frames because let's remember guys there are glass and i let that sit overnight for about 
24 hours and now this is probably two days later and I'm going to be using that same washi tape this one has silver glitter on it and this is also from Hobby Lobby for $1.99 so I thought that using this would definitely spice it up so I went ahead and I'm cutting them in triangles or kind of like slanted curves for the corner so that way it looks a lot neater and also I will be using these gemstone stickers from the crafter square from the Dollar Tree to bling out the smaller picture frames on the sides and these are self-adhesive I did have one of these glitter foam sheets and so that one picture frame that was just an all silver one just went ahead and took the foam sheet and kind of pressed it on the outside of the actual frame because it was already glued down I wasn't able to remove it and take the glass out so I just kind of like stuck it through and placed it that way You do need to measure this properly, so you do need to find the center of your frame. It depends on which way you want to hang it up. I decided to hang it up the long way. You don't have to hang it up the same particular way. You can go horizontal or you can go vertical. I decided to do it this way, but you do need to find the center. So you want to go ahead and measure each side and then find the center. So for this part, I did use the picture hanging tabs. I did place them in, but prior to placing them in, I did put some Gorilla Glue down and then I also poured some Gorilla Glue on top of the picture hanging anchors. Along with that, just to secure it even more, I did use two different kinds of tape and I also did sit some of my canned goods on top of it for about four days just to make sure that they held securely. So I do apologize for the shakiness. This is actually just put on my wall just to show I did make this for my son and my daughter-in-law's apartment so it's not really even you know I didn't have it for my own wall and I'm not that great with moving angles but I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is the final outlook of the wall art from the Dollar Tree I'll definitely link all of the items down below and things where you can find them from and if you want me to do some more DIYs let me know Leave your comments below. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.